Ah, good afternoon. So I'm here with my uh, NTK Buster. It's a P17 clone. It's in 2.2. Um, I always wanted a P17 in 2.2, but I could never find one, so I've got one in 177. Well, actually, my wife's. So I bought this in 2.2. Uh, I've also painted the foresight uh, with some white enamel paint. I just masked it off. You should want to help aid the actual foresight because this doesn't have uh, fiber optic sights like the P17 has. I'm using some VMX pellets, which are 14.6 grain, and I'm going to take five shots semi rested just from this bag at 10 meters and uh, see how she groups, and then I'm going to take five shots freestanding at 10 meters. So I'm going to zoom in on the target. There we are, it's 10 metres out, just uh, line her up a bit, that's better, and see how these five shots go, uh, these VMX pellets seem to suit budget air guns, you know CO2 pistols, I use them a lot both in one, uh, 177 and 22. so here goes, Three reading glasses on, also safety glasses so, so I'm going to aim just below the centre of the target. Okay. okay, that might be slightly low and to the right. Okay. There. Number three. Of course, this being a pneumatic, it doesn't have any recoil as such. Tiny little bit of movement, not a lot. But it should make it very accurate and it won't be uh, hold sensitive or, or rest sensitive either. Number four. And finally number five, and then what we'll do, we'll zoom out, we'll do the five shots freestanding, then we'll compare the two targets. Not too difficult to cop, uh, probably too difficult for a youngster, but if you're teaching youngsters to shoot, you'd be supervised, no one to do the hard work for them. Trigger's nice and light. Shot. My arms outstretched them, but chest is starting to tighten up a little bit. Right, shot number five. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll zoom out and we'll do the freestanding free at the next target, and then we'll compare the two, two targets together. So we'll be back shortly. Hello, good afternoon. So I'm back with my uh, NTK Buster 0.22 cal pneumatic, and I've got a target at 10 meters. I'm going to take five shots freestanding. So I'm just going to zoom in and show you the target to prove that it is actually a actual virgin target. There you go. And then we're going to zoom out so I can actually prove that I am actually taking these freestanding. Okay. So 10 meters from where we were shooting before. It's right about here. Uh, there you go. So again we're using the VMX pellets, which are 14.6 grain. I'm going to aim at the same point as I was semi-rested. Okay, so an automatic safety that comes on every time you cock it. So here goes, see if you can get five close together. One. 
the same more as before so I think I might have moved a little bit and that's gone to the lower the lower left but the other two I think have gone in the centre so the final shot gonna keep still for this one okay so that's shot number five so we'll just zoom in so you can have a quick look at that and then we'll bring that target up and then we can compare the two. So that's the 10 metre freestanding target. So what we'll do, we'll pause this, bring the targets up and then have a comparison back shortly. Uh, good afternoon, so I'm back with the NTK Buster 0.22 cal using the VMX Webley VMX pellets 14.66 grain and I've just got the two targets here so what we've got we've got five shots semi-rested so you've got five shots there that's uh, about, a, about a thumb that's, uh, that's under an inch uh, at 10 meters yeah semi-rested off the front so I was moving it maybe a little bit you know obviously just, just at the front of the pistol supported and then freestanding, um, yeah, I've got three here, so I think that's the true aim point. And I did move a little bit, and I've got two down here. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. I know it's pretty central. You can tell by the actual rested ones as well. But freestanding at 10 meters, yeah. If I'd got it together, I've already would have got all five in there. So yeah, is this pistol any good? Definitely, yeah. I think the the barrel will get better the more you let in. Uh, putting a little uh, white off at the front helps with the aiming because it is just black front and back unlike the p17 which has fiber optics front and back which makes it much easier to, to shoot um, yeah it's fine it's a really nice reasonably cheap well, it's a fairly cheap uh, pneumatic pistol it is actually a p17 clone I wouldn't say it's as good as a p17 the trigger is not as good as a 17 whether it's just this particular one but if I cock it and I'll show you what I mean obviously it cocks like a p17 but it comes with automatic safety, but you see there's no red dot like you have on a P17. Also, if you look at this, I'll shoot it into the ground, you should be able to see this. The first stage, yeah, is okay, but there is, you'll see it start to creep as I pull it. See, there's quite a bit of movement before it goes. And you don't get that with a P17, or not the P17 that uh, my wife owns. Okay, so I think that's something, it'd be nice if they sorted it out when they, when they make these pistols and make that trigger much more like the 17 would make it shoot easier it is predictable you can get used to it like you know but it does take a bit of practice and as you can see from the freestanding it took me a bit of practice to get that right because i think those two there that were low and to the left was probably that trigger i didn't quite get it quite right okay so i hope you like a little shooting review take care and thanks for watching